Hey guys, so today I'm going to walk you through a couple um, looks that I created using drugstore products um, in their romance theme because I've got a couple of suggestions and I thought I'd combine them, kill two birds with one stone. Someone suggested I do a look using all drugstore products, which I thought was a good idea because I use a lot of MAC and stuff in my videos or higher end brands. So I thought that would be a good, good idea. I don't own a lot of, a lot of drugstore products, but, so, but the ones that I do own and enjoy, um, I figured I'd show you a lot of them in this. And then someone also suggested a romance-themed look. I'm no romance expert. Just, just throw that out there, just in case you didn't know that. Um, but I, I don't know, I get my, I get my best shot. I, as you can tell, I did a split face look. I have a more neutral kind of everyday kind of flirt for those that are just flirty all the time kind of look <laughs> over here. And then over here I have more of like a uh, maybe a special night out, like a date or something. Um, girly, pinky, purple kind of look. So that is that. Um, yeah, so before I jump right in and just show you what I used, um, just a note, I am walking you through these instead of actually doing them because I have just not been getting a really good vibe from my tutorials at all. Um, like my Zelda series, I put a lot of work into that series, and for those of you that, you know, did enjoy it and you stuck, stuck with me and you're looking forward to it, um, I do appreciate that. Those that left, um, comments and stuff, whether good or bad, I do appreciate feedback. Um, whether you like it or not, but they haven't been getting a lot of feedback in general. So, um, yeah, I know my, I know my setup's not good. I apologize for that. I don't have the nice video camera. I have a regular camera with a video option. That's just what I own. And I do plan on saving up one day and getting a better camera and being able to zoom in for you. I can't zoom in right now. So, um, I do the best with what I have. I am no... Um, editing expert. I don't know the first thing about editing. Maybe one day I'll learn, and I do hope to learn, but right now, this is what I have. My videos are very real. As you can see, I'm sitting right in front of you actually doing them. They're real time, which I do like, because I don't like watching tutorials where they speed through most of it and cut out most of it, so I sometimes wonder how long did it actually take you to do that look. Like, that's just not realistic. As the SB Nation, shout out to SB Nation, appropriately pointed out, most real people watching tutorials and actually doing the tutorial um, are probably going for something a little bit more simple. Um, and if you do have the time and energy and willpower to sit and do a really complicated look, uh, more power to you, but that I just don't find... Um, really fun to show you how to do because that's um, a, lo a lot of products and stuff and that's just not realistic. So my looks are very pretty simple stuff anyone can do whether you're younger and just going to school or you're um, going to work or going for a night out. Like most of my looks are pretty adaptable so I just want you to be able to wear it in some way. Um, so yeah, I, I do the best that I have. I'm sorry if that's not enough. I've noticed a lot when people are unsubscribing, which, to that I have to say, if you subscribe to me and not watch my videos, why did you subscribe? Why are you not watching my videos? To those of you that um, watch but don't subscribe, if you're watching me consistently and you like me, why don't you subscribe? And to those that, um, like, watch occasionally, I just think, like, I don't know, like, just let me know what you need to see more of to watch me more consistently. Like, I don't want people to subscribe because they liked one video. I want you to watch me if you like me and you like the kind of things that I do. So please let me know. I really need your help here. I need that kind of feedback. I'm feeling in a really weird kind of in-between place right now. Because... Um, I'm not being picky here, like, with subscribers, like, I don't have subscribers, like, no, I love you guys, and I appreciate you, um, but I want to grow, and I want to learn here, so please let me know what I can do better, what, what you need to see more from me to keep you there, if that's what I have to do, and that's fine, because I know people are really picky when watching videos, I know I'm really picky like that, um, so please just be honest with me and let me know, um, what I can improve on, um, Again, the tutorial thing may kind of be at a standstill until I do save up and get better equipment, and that will be coming one day. Um, so, yeah, that is all. I'm sorry. I'm going to get off my um, soapbox mini rant over with, but I just wanted to get that out there because I've been feeling kind of a little bit, a little bit low right now. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to jump right in. So, 
on this half of the face over here, I have, I'm losing where all my products are, there we go, um, the Wet n Wild Color Icon Trio in Sweet as Candy. Wet n Wild is really great, really cheap really um, wonderful stuff. This is a really, really great neutral palette for a beginner or someone with not a lot of time. Using the pink shade, um, blended all over the lid, the crease shade, the soft brown, right in the crease, just real soft, give a little definition, and the brow bone shade um, to highlight right up on the brow bone in the inner corner. Really simple takes two seconds and I think it looks just really pretty and simple for any kind of everyday occasion. On both eyes I'm wearing um, L'Oreal Carbon Black Linear Intense Liquid Liner and it is the felt tip liquid liner. I like this but I have to shake it pretty well to get a dark enough black line otherwise you have to kind of layer it a little bit. On this eye I extended it all the way from the inner corner out and I didn't pull it out too far so it gives a more natural look. On both eyes, I used NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk as a base. Really soft. It, it is white, but if you use a little bit like I did, it doesn't look white. It just brightens up your eyeshadow, which is great. On this cheek, I have Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso, which I think would look great on anyone because it's just really nice and bright and glowy. I used just a little bit um, just to make the cheeks a little bit more alive and healthy. So that is that. And on the lips this half, obviously. I used the Wet n Wild Matte Lipstick. It's this pink shade. I don't know what the name is, but it's 901B. So, soft matte pink. You can go for something a little bit more glossy if you don't want the dryness, but these aren't that all that drying, so I really like these. Um, on this eye, I'm wearing the Wet n Wild Petal Pusher Palette, which I highly recommend. Five bucks and you get eight really great shades. My favorite being this lilac shade right here, which I have all over the lid um, and blended pretty much all over the eye. On the brow bone and inner corner, I have a mix of this kind of matte white highlight shade with, it has like a pink sheen mixed with this actual frosty pink. So those two mixed um, really bring out the brow bone up here and in the inner corner. In the crease, I have this purple, purple crease shade, really soft in the crease to give a little definition and on the lower lash line, just smudged it into the lower lash line for this really pretty purple. And again, I used the same liquid liner, but in this, I didn't put it so much on the inner corner. I concentrated it out here and created more of a wedge, as you can see. So just pulled it out from where the eyes, the eyelids meet, and then um, pull it over. On the cheeks, I have uh, Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush in Pink Frosting. Really soft, um, nice, bright pink. It, it's shimmery, so I didn't even use a highlight right on the apples here. Really nice, soft pink flush. And on the lips, I have um, Dolly Pink Lip Liner by NYX, topped with Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in Lilac Pastel for a nice, bright pink look. So that is that. That is um, all for now. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know about my videos. I need your feedback. So let me know what I can prove if you have any suggestions or anything down below. So... I hope this fulfilled those of you that um, wanted a kind of romantic look or a wearable drugstore look. So yeah, that is all for now, guys.